follow this recipe for a sausage that will truly reign supreme. Today we're going to be making a supreme pizza sausage. It's going to take all of those classic toppings seen on a supreme pizza and mixing them into our meat block for our sausage. Starting with the veggies, we're going to have bell peppers, onions, black olives, and some sun-dried tomatoes instead of fresh because that'll play better in our final sausage. We're also going to be adding some pepperoni. This is a recipe that I made. There is a video. You'll find that at psseasoning.com as well. All this topped off with some high temp mozzarella cheese is going to be a really unique and cool sausage. It's time to start working on our inclusions. For a supreme pizza, classically it's pepperoni sausage, which we're going to have both meats in our meat block, mozzarella cheese, which we're also going to have at a 10% rate, and then the extra vegetable toppings. A lot of times you'll see diced tomatoes or at least the tomato sauce we could consider one of the inclusions. In this case, we're going to use sun-dried tomatoes. Black olives, peppers, and onions, all of which we have to dice up before we start folding it into our meat block. And starting with our green pepper, we're just going to dice these up, and we're going to keep it the same size as our high temp cheese. And it's really about a quarter inch dice. For inclusions, you generally want about 10% of the meat block. And in this case, the vegetables, I'm going to add them all together to make that 10%. So it's going to be four ounces of each to make one pound inclusion of our veggies. And as for the cheese, since it's such a huge part of pizza, we're going to leave that at the 10% inclusion rate. So I will be adding one pound for our 10 pound meat block. For our sun-dried tomatoes, they're a little big, so we're going to go in and we're just going to chop these up a little finer. And then we're going to do the same with the black olives. I obviously strain these. We don't want that extra water inclusion in this one. For our pepperoni, we want this flavor profile to stand out just a little bit more. So we're going to use a 5% inclusion rate on this so that we get this blended really nice throughout and we get that little difference in texture as well. Our inclusions are all set, so now it's time to start mixing these into our meat block. For our pizza sausage, we're going to be using a pork base. There's not going to be anything special about this grinding process. We're using pork butt, which is very common in sausage making. And we're going to be using a two-stage grinding process, starting with a 3 8 inch plate and then moving to our second grind with the 3 16 For our pizza sausage, we're going to be using a base seasoning of Italian sausage. Our number 260 Italian sausage seasoning is going to go great for this. I did pick this one because it is our blue ribbon flavor and it does have MSG. I chose this blend because I like the way that the MSG gives us a little extra pop of flavor. We also have non-MSG seasoning blends if that's what you prefer. When you order the 260 Italian sausage seasoning, it's going to come designed for a 25 pound meat block. We're only doing about 10 pounds today, so I have to weigh out the appropriate amount of seasoning and then get it blended. And of course, we need to add a little bit of liquid to help distribute the seasoning and to add a little bit of moisture to our meat block. And then get in there and mix. Once we get all this mixed up and the protein extraction takes hold, we'll get our inclusions together. We've got our diced onion, diced green pepper, diced sun-dried tomato, and lastly, our black olives. Now, as for the other protein that goes on a Supreme Pizza, we have our diced pepperoni. Right at the end, I'll get our high temp mozzarella cheese mixed in. The cheese is a little bit more delicate, so I want to wait till the end so I don't overwork it. Let's case. We're going to load up our hopper with our meat block here, setting it in the middle and working it out towards the sides to eliminate air pockets. We've got our sausage stuffer set up with a three quarter inch horn here. We're going to pull the meat block into the horn about 90% of the way, back off the pressure and we're ready to start loading on our casings. These casings have been soaking for about an hour and a half according to the directions on the packaging. 
I'm gonna put a little bit more water through them here for a final rinse and to lube up the horn as they get threaded on. We're gonna put some water down on the counter here so the sausage moves easily. And already you can see the inclusions through the casings. And that's gonna be a really cool, really unique sausage. All cased, and now it's time to link up. We're gonna do about six inch sausages here. So we're gonna pinch, skip, pinch, and twist. We'll eliminate our air pockets with our sausage pricker, and then I'm gonna let these dry out for at least two to three hours in the fridge. I prefer overnight. And that just gives those flavors a good chance to meld and blend together and give those casings a little bit more time to dry out. While I'm waiting for these to rest, I wanna get our grill set to 350 degrees, set up for indirect heat, and I'll be ready to grill these up and finally be ready to taste these. And these grilled up beautifully. I've got some pizza sauce on the stove top for our final presentation. And I am so very excited to try these. First thing I wanna do is cut this open, try the sausage by itself, see how all those inclusions held up. Look at that. Have you ever seen a sausage with that much inclusion? That is a fresh sausage, ladies and gentlemen. You can see everything, sun-dried tomato, Pepperoni, green pepper, black olive, cheese. Bottoms up. That tastes like pizza. Absolutely incredible. Great flavor profile. The Italian sausage seasoning that we used, our number 260, as a base, works brilliantly. But then the texture and the flavor, the little bit of sweetness from the bell pepper and onion, the extra saltiness from black olive, this is absolutely incredible. This has to be one of my favorites. And I actually wanna, I wanna cut this lengthwise because I wanna see all those inclusions. Yeah, look at that, look how cool that is. There's so much added flavor that we packed into this sausage and that has to be one of the coolest, most unique sausages I've ever made. If you like this recipe and wanna know more, head to psseasoning.com for more details. If you like this video, click subscribe. And as always, you can check us out on all forms of social media. And if you like my hat, check out our new merch section at psseasoning.com. Until next time, I'm Chef Jed. Thanks for watching.